Now let's have some more exercises to um, tell whether a chain is ergodic or not. Given two transition probability matrices, so these are two separate problems, determine for each of this uh, probability matrix whether it is an ergodic chain or not. So let's start with the first one. We need to determine whether the chain is ergodic and also determine which states are recurrent, transient, and absorbing. So I'd like to visualize the probability matrix in terms of graph. For me, it's easier to see it this way. First, let's check if all states are recurrent, communicate, and aperiodic. Seems like yes, they are, because you can always go from one state to the other state and return to where you started. And then you can reach um, all states are reachable from any other states and you don't see any period here. So it's um, an ergodic chain. Uh, all states are recurrent because all states are recurrent. We don't have any transient state. And then we also do not have any absorbing state because this probability from 2 to 2 itself is 0 0.7. From 3 coming back to 3 is 0 0.1. So they are not absorbing states. To become an absorbing state, the probability of a state coming into itself must be 1. So here's the second question. Again, I visualize the matrix in terms of a graph and I specifically write down that this probability is 1. And then it is not an ergodic chain because, um, for example, if you start state 2, you can go to state 4, but then you will never be able to go back to state 2 where you started, right? Because from 2 to 4 and then you will be trapped forever in state 4 because 4 is an absorbing chain. So um, 1, 2, 3, they are all transient states and then the recurrent one is 4 because 4 is not transient. And then 4 is also an absorbing state because once you've reached 4, the probability of uh, returning to 4 again is 1. So that is the definition of an absorbing state. So that is the end of all the materials that you need to learn in week 2. So you have learned how to compute n step probabilities. You have also learned the classification of states as well as uh, defining whether a chain that you have is an ergodic chain or not. So see you in the videos of week 3.